Hey guys, uh, this is Epoch. Welcome to my playthrough of Beyond Two Souls. Now, this is actually going to be the second time I'm playing this game. I beat it once, liked it a lot. And um, this time I'm planning on making some different choices just to see how much they can affect the game. So, you know, just stick with me and uh, let's go on the ride. You know, so I really like this game. And uh, also, while I'm playing through this, I'm going to try to point out some interesting things I see, interesting things I noticed because uh, I noticed that this film film yeah Freudian slip this game is is very cinematic and I think some of its detractors might say that it's more a movie than a game but uh, I think it's an interesting blend of both and I'm gonna point out a few things I've noticed see if they maybe they're maybe they're valid maybe they're just me uh, just seeing things through my own mind's eye but who knows anyways enough talk enough blabber let's boogie Yes. And guys, since this is my first playthrough video I'm uploading, I'm hoping the levels are okay. I hope everything turns out fine, but... I was born with a strange gift. But tell me if things aren't. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. Wow, that's cool. Hold on. Let's make sure subtitles are on. Help all you folks out there. Oh wow, there's different languages? <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me see. I never played this game in French. Let's see how it sounds. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, That's not the French. smell. I need to remember. Alright, let's go back. Options. Oh, it's just menu. I'm done. Alright, resume game. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. But yeah, this if is... I had to say how it all began. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen the PS4 yet. The PS4 I games, just but... Well start here. For PS3 game, this is probably the most... Just graphics intensive, just beautiful game I've ever seen. I most found you game by seen. the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? And uh, for guys, for those of you who don't know, this is the latest game from Quantic Dream, the uh, publisher, or excuse me, not publisher, developer for, um, developer for Heavy Rain, for the Indigo Prophecy, also known as Fahrenheit, How about and a for then uh, Omicron Nomad Soul. Very eclectic, interesting studio, French Friends? studio, uh, ran by uh, who could David who Cage, are. who's sort of the director, writer, slash visionary behind all these games. And he's got a pretty unique vision and I like it. Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Recent? Got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. They're Tell so them to wait foe. until I get there. Also known as Creepy the Foe. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them. Some goddamn fools.
If you don't know the um, the sheriff, the man who plays the sheriff, he uh, actually is a regular um, uh, regular contributor to Quantic Dream Games. I think he played that. If you guys don't remember, in Heavy Rain, he played that creepy dude that ran the club with the like the Spanish accent. Yeah, that was him. Mysterious. Obviously, Ellen Page plays Jody, who's a girl with some freaky gifts. And uh, this game, unfortunately, from what I've read, did not sell very well, and uh, that's a shame. But I, I kind of understand because I remember when Heavy Rain came out, that that game really blew people away. I mean, people had never experienced something like that before. But Beyond Two Souls. Ah, there you are. It's not that different from Heavy Rain. How you doing today, Jody? Good. Uh, it is, but Back it's not enough for people to. Be like, I hate wow, to bother you when you play Totally different experience all, but, uh, than expected. I believe it's time. But I still, I, I like. I very much wish that you know it did well and that we get more games from Quantic Dreams like this because I think he's trying something different and whether good or bad, I think that it's definitely worth trying. It's kind of pretty simple. Yeah, the gameplay is very simple though. Yeah, so basically you just click, so I can move it to this Barbie doll, snap it right, pick it up, give her high Come kicks. Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. <coughs> Quiet. Walk to the places, look in the restroom. I remember, oh man, still having a hard time, but I remember when I first played this game, because it's been so long since That's I touched heavy way, rain. Jody. Oh. It's, it was the first time playing this kind of game like this. I had a while before I could really get the controls down precisely. And hey, cool little thing right here. What do you notice? It's my neighbor Totoro. Or at least something that looks like Totoro so they don't get sued. I'm a lazy girl. I know you're tired, Jody, but we really have to go. So we we'll walk here. It's one thing I do want to show you guys. Uh, you walk over here, okay, just look at, look at that. Do you see me and my ghost pal, and then... Yeah, she's a disturbed kid. Wait, actually, let's see here. Let's sit down. And... If you guys don't know, this is this this film here is actually kind of a foreshadowing of what's gonna happen in the game. Or what could happen in the game, I suppose. So you have the little squirrel girl and then you have this mysterious fox creature. She's scared, he tries to reassure her. Of course, what does he do? Hurry, Jody! Oh shut up! Explaining to the audience. He says You are here and he is from up there. And he came down to help her. Kind of like how Aiden helped Shodi. I don't want to explain the whole thing though, because it will kind of spoil the game. You know, you do run into a. <laughs> I wonder why those guards all look like Gene Shallot. They kind of look like a creepy Mario from the 70s. Like if Mario was from some creepy <laughs> teacher from the 70s or something. I'm just being weird. Yeah, I'll just let you guys, I'll just record this, let you guys see it. 
And I won't explain everything, but once you've actually played the whole game and you look back at this movie, you can see what it was trying to say, what it was trying to do. Hurry, Jody. What's funny is, what's great is that if I was a normal little kid and I wasn't doing what the guy was saying, he would just come up to me, turn off the TV and grab me, but you're just going to stand there the whole time happily watching me watch a TV show. I just find that funny. Yes, the secret of Beyond Two Souls is that in the end we all turn into farm animals. I'm sorry for spoiling that for you guys. I like how the audio has nothing to do with what we're watching. It's playing action music, but nothing, no action is actually happening. And it gives this creepy little smile. Alright, so I think that's the end of that. Thank you for holding the door. Let's walk out. All right, Nathan's waiting for us. I don't care. Oh, Still getting used to these controls. It's embarrassing. Oh, come on. I don't have any more Hi, change. Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. Naming the is black guy Cole, is that racist? Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? <laughs> Here we are. It's pretty much reminds me of every doctor's office I've been around. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. There's also, I think, a lot of... See, if you notice that, how the, the ring of cameras kind of forms a halo over her head, the way she puts on a crown on her, kind of a lot of Jesus okay. imagery, Savior imagery related now. to Jody's Remember? character. It's just like a crown. And you notice that kind of throughout oh, the game. Yeah. They start oh, to emphasize this, this message of Jody as sort of a Savior figure. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Would I trust William Defoe? Like if you just kind of smile, that evil grin was like, oh, everything's going to be just fine. I don't know. I'm being too harsh on him. Hey, Jody, can you hear me? He's a good actor. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to okay, try different let's ways. Start. Kathleen is next door. Different and choices. she has the same cards as you. And we're going to get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go. I shrugged. It. I didn't say yes. First card. Subject's heartbeat slows to 45 beats per minute. Oh. You feel that? The temperature's down. He's here. Square? 
Next car. <coughs> Possess him again. Okay, okay. I missed something. I didn't know. Hey, what was that? Looks like Aiden is not in a good mood today. I right. choose bacon. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. I think you can make them fall over. I like how <laughs> I like how they didn't tell this lady that there's this evil or not evil, but this spirit that's gonna fly around and move things around. Like you think they would warn her before this happens, so she doesn't have like a heart attack. Let's see, yeah. I want to move the cards. The experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked! I'm no, telling Kathleen you, it's locked! Not locked. It's get me out of here! Get me out of here now! Calm down, Captain. Go get the door. I like that they locked you the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You... Jody. It's over, Jody. It's over. It's over. Yeah, I think that lady probably quit her job. It's It'll never, never be over. over. Yeah, I really like this game, but it can be cheesy at times. <coughs> so this game has a very disjointed um, plot structure. It hops from different places at different times all the time a lot of people said they're confused by that a lot of reviewers but i actually don't think it's that confusing it's actually a pretty thematically coherent story if you really follow it you just have to pay attention which can be hard at times i admit yep there's adult jody what should i say i feel like everyone's looking at us that's not just a feeling everyone is looking at us This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. No, dress is perfect. You look great. But the most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, she come in. I uh, would like you, you to meet my assistant, indoors. Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. I should be flattered. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Uh, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. Okay. I 
need to find a quiet place. Well, here's what's something very. Here's what's interesting about this game is. Um, when's the last time you saw Ellen Page in a movie wearing like a low back red dress? Like pretty much never, right? She always has this like tomboy. That tomboy look. Like the cool thing about okay? video games is that these actors and actresses can. Yeah. Play these roles yeah. or wear these styles I'm, that they normally don't. In movie. I didn't see them really action, nervous, but. Movie. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Be careful. You can't suspect a thing. I remember uh, Troy Baker in the voice of Joel from The Last of Us and Hooker DeWitt from Baja Kinfino said that like he wants voice Conan, the barbarian. And that, you know, where else? Isabel, I see you've escaped from our mutual friend. A drink, perhaps? We should get to know each other better. Maybe later. As you wish. Later it is. Creepy stairs. But yeah, he uh, he said how you know in a live action film he'd never be cast as Conan the Barbarian, but because of the power of video games and CGI, he can. That's pretty cool in my opinion. Okay, he's lost interest. Now, I, last time I beat this level just doing the typical move, the typical way. No, not now. It will attract attention. Let's see if I can do it. I need to find a quiet place. Okay, I know. <coughs> I wish they had like a translation for it. It's probably the same, you know. It doesn't matter what language, it's probably the same thing. Girl did this, guy did that. Why does he like her? Why can't he like me? Usual stuff. Aiden, are you ready? Yep. There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful. You got it? Oh, this, is all, this is always funny. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she's bleeding. That's crazy. Yeah, it happens to be on the toilet too. Okay, now here's the odd thing about this game is that you're this immaterial spirit that can. It hurts around. like hell when you're too far away. But there's some things you can't go through, like for example this wall. <laughs> I understand it's a game mechanic, but I'm not kind of. Let's do this. I mean, this is crazy. If anyone notices, we're dead. Be careful, Aiden. You know you can't touch other people when you're controlling someone. Let's try to salute me. I'm the big man. I wonder what country this is. Or supposed to be. Or it's just a made up country. Let's see. This is no time to mess around. Look for an office. On the first floor with the portrait of the sheik. And watch out for the guards and the video. An office with the portrait of the sheik. This is the place. 
There's got to be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, I didn't. Okay, okay, now don't move. هل من أحد هناك؟ الرجاء الخروج من هناك على الفور ولكن ماذا تفعل هنا؟ إن هم رهد السيدات انصرف من هنا حسنا أيها المنهرف سأنصرف Diamond and cross the toilet seat. I don't even know. No, this is the first time. I can't do anything to help you. Good luck. That's luxury. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Because what teenager doesn't like 
A Book of Poetry by Edgar Allan Poe. See, I think William Dafoe's character is a little bit out of it. A little bit out of touch, not, not very hip, not with the times. Hey, Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in, I gotta go. Come in, Jody, don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and these dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool, thanks. I'm off, darling. I'll look after your friends and don't do anything Poe. stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Not now, I didn't. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey, everyone. This is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my own. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Yeah, party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Can I talk with these people? Excuse me. Excuse me. What a delightful family. Okay, let's pick the music out then. Sure to love this. All right, let's rock out. What kind of garbage is that? It's right over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. <laughs> Sounds like it's Timberland from like circa 2003. Put it under my bed for a week. She's totally oblivious. Kirsten, you're a genius. What is up with that guy's voice? Kirsten, you're a genius. Yeah, cool, sure. Hey, Heineken. Not that I know. Alright. Let's be bad. By the way, I don't drink. And last time I actually didn't have a drink, hey, but. Choke on it. What happened? I bet it's your first time. No. I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. Is it? What does he sound like? He reminds me of a guy. I'm a terrible influence. <laughs> I think you've had enough, man. Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. Right. Because I sure do remember I've seen you around before. So you work with Kirsten's mother? I've never met Kirsten before. Her mom works in my unit and that's why I was invited. I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York. Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and 
you what, what are you into? Nothing special. I read a lot. It's boring, <laughs> I guess. Can I can I ask you something? Why are you in unit four? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, damn, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't like upset you or anything. No, that's cool. okay. Slowdowns. Are you, you up for it? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know how. That's all right. I don't really know how to either, so. Nice watch. <laughs> Finally, I get to live up my high school dream of dancing with another boy. It's just like real dancing, you know? Just gotta move your hips and hands. I'm a pro. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? Yeah, I do. Thanks. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I actually like to move the hands. Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I... I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have... I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious <laughs> cake and most important to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love Jen XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and in period chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It's Poe. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? <laughs> no, no, and it's really I rare. I like that guy. Yeah. Just Pop like color. you, Jess. <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, the way, they, the way this yeah, escalates... she's a slut. I don't Stuff know. Stuff a witch. <laughs> we should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> See what I mean? Like, why are... That's so evil. Alright, hold on. Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, Let mistress me of the obscure darkness. Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> <laughs> Like burning please, her with a cigarette? Let me out. The first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please! What? I wanna get out! Was making me please, hungry. I wanna get out! I'm yeah, let's get this party please, started! <laughs> Can't you just have Aiden like just break down the door right now? No. <laughs> 
It's Harry Potter's room. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Harry Potter's room from um, uh, from his uncle when he's in his uncle's house, where he lives under like a here. little closet? Please. Okay, let's go. Apologies for the cough, I'm a little sick. So we know that Jody hates Go widen. small spaces. It's time to get things done. And then let's see how we just start. Last time I just left him alone, so it's gonna be pretty funny. Time to screw it up. Well done. Very funny, Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. The door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. This there's no reason to panic. The windows, try the windows. They're locked. Guys, this is a joke. It's really not funny. What? What was that? We're not scared of those stupid tricks, Jody. Hear me? <laughs> That's so terrible. I'm not staying here. What the fuck is going on? Help! 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 We've got to get out of here. <laughs> Good job. Come on. Good job. I said that's enough. Come back. We're leaving. What are you doing, Aiden? You're going too far. You've got to stop. We did that. Can I actually kill them? Oh, dude, that's messed up.
thought we're in trouble, so cut it out. He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's going to be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. I'll be right here, sweetheart. Is that the lady who played, um... The... The prostitute. Hello, Jody. Come in. I think I'll need to check that. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. They're pretty boring books. To be honest, I haven't read them all. How about you? You like to read? I'm just gonna promptly ignore him. Let's see. That's a photo of a paranormal event I studied. That table moved five millimeters in three days on its own. We filmed it and sped up the images so we could see the movement. Interesting, huh? You can sit down if you like. You like it? You can have it if you want. Camden, New Jersey, huh? Or is it New Jersey? That's gonna be really embarrassing. I think is it New Jersey or Massachusetts? I'm gonna embarrass myself, aren't I? That's my wife Helen and my daughter Laura. My daughter's about your age. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you. Right, Jody. Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. I can understand if you don't want to talk about it. But if you did, I could help you figure it out. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me?
Do you like my picture? Mind if I take a look? It's an... <laughs> it's an exploded colostomy bag. <laughs> it just looks like a... Like, so how is he going to interpret this? I like how he this interprets thing this so well. is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? Well, maybe he'll show up later. After we get to know each other a little better, right? <laughs> Creepy grin. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. Part of me wonders if they did something to um, Alan Page's face because I noticed looking at it that it doesn't look exactly like Alan Page. Years. I don't know if that's just Turning something they five, did on yeah, purpose no or that's just how it ended up. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you guys think. I mean, she looks like Alan Page, but I'm not sure if it's an exact match. So I guess um, we'll end it there for today. My first episode, obviously, this is a work in progress. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys uh, got something out of this. I mean, this is my second time playing, and I'm still having fun with the game. Hope you guys are having fun watching me. So keep, you know, keep in touch with the channel. I'll be updating again pretty soon. And like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. I'm pretty sure you guys know this, and I'm pretty sick of hearing it from every channel. But whatever little thing you can do helps out tremendously. And I'm really happy and honored that any of you guys are watching this. And that any of you guys care. So appreciate appreciate all you guys do. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. I'm having a great day. And I will see you guys again next time. Goodbye.